some chemical additives such as sodium lauryl sulfate, the same type of detergent used in dish soap? Did you know that many multivitamin supplements are made from synthetic vitamins? Do your herbal remedies have unwanted additives and fillers? Have you ever tested your body's pH level? Make the change to organic health and beauty products. Visit tobenatural.com and order today. TubeNatural.com carries exclusive, all-natural, chemical-free skin care, hair care, whole food vitamins, herbal remedies, and alkaline body balance supplements. Visit TubeNatural.com. That's T-O-B-E Natural.com. TubeNatural.com. Use coupon code RADIO for a 15% discount and free alkaline food chart. Call 1-888-417-1375. That's 1-888-417-1375 to order or request your free catalog. On the average, Americans work between 45 to 50 years hoping to build up enough wealth to retire and live out their golden years. Unfortunately, with taxation, the rising cost of food, energy, housing, and medical, many retirees are forced to live below the poverty line. Is this a flaw for free enterprise, or is our monetary unit we call the Federal Reserve Note forcing us into perpetual debt, ensuring inflation and higher taxes? These questions and more can be answered by reading G. Edward Griffin's book, The Creature from Jekyll Island. Congressman Ron Paul states it's what every American needs to know about central bank power. A gripping adventure into the secret world of international banking cartel. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. I will give a silver dollar from the early 1900s to anyone who purchases this book. Call 1-800-686-2237 and order a copy today. It's critical that the public be made aware of the system. Call and order your copy today at 1-800-686-2237. That's 1-800-686-2237. In the New World Order's war against humanity, Barack Obama is the tip of the spear. We've got to have a civilian national security force that's just as powerful, just as strong, just as well-funded. The Obama deception completely destroys the myth that Obama is working for the best interest of the American people. Well, Obama's already fudging. He's yeah. fudged since day one in this election. If you have a demagogue with a fanatical mass movement of personality cultists who is imposing the program of a group of extreme bankers and finance oligarchs, that's fascist. It's not about left or right. It's about a one-world government. This film documents who Obama works for, the lies he has told, and his real agenda. Get your copy of The Obama Deception today at Infowars.com or download it in super high quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. The Obama Deception. The people strike back. Attention gardeners, this is an urgent GCN self-reliance update. GCN has just discovered a new bioactive superfood for garden plants, flowers, and herbs. It's called Protogrow, and it's so effective at producing rapid plant growth that it seems to almost force plants to grow like crazy under practically any soil and light conditions. Now, here's the best part for our listeners who garden for self-reliance. Protogrow's unique blend of sea nutrients maximizes mineral uptake and dramatically increases bloom set, creating maximum plant growth in minimum time. Protogrow works by providing geometric keys, which have the capacity to actually unlock the genetic code for nutritional uptake in plants. Protogrow's full-spectrum plant fertility means fruits and vegetables with extraordinary taste and up to 10 times the nutritional value. And if you want to double or triple the potency of herbs or wheatgrass, you can. If you want to grow nutritionalized superfoods with non-hybrids, it's now easy. GCN listeners who want to grow dirt cheap superfoods should visit the Protogrow website at growlikecrazy.com. That's www.growlikecrazy.com or call 877-327-0365. That's 877-327-0365. Only with CPS stories, elder care stories, kidnapping old people, kidnapping children, federal bounties, international bounties. Meanwhile, Dyncourt and Halliburton publicly run giant child kidnapping rings. And then you have the fact that when you go to most pediatricians or most doctors now, even adults, they say, hey, do you have firearms in your house? Are they locked away safely? And you'll be like, no, they're, uh, you know, in the gun case. Well, they call CPS on you. Or in the states where they have gun laws about how to lock them up, they send a SWAT team. And uh, it's amazing. In fact, I've even got Senator Glenn Grothman, 
uh, putting out an article here saying medical care and firearm profiling, a constituent of State Senator Glenn Grothman, stopped into his uh, Madison office last week and said he recently had knee surgery. And, and by the way, I, this is confirmed. This has been going on for about five years. And they, by the way, put you in a health department computer. They just tell the doctors and nurses to do this. While getting the paperwork completed, the doctor asked the man, do you own a firearm? Do you keep it locked in a secure location? The doctor would not continue the appointment or provide medical care until the patient supplied answers to the above questions. See, they're turning everybody into secret police and then acting like this is normal. Senator Grotham's office is wondering if this is an isolated incident or referring practice. Uh, yes, Senator, in case you don't know, Aaron just gave me this during the break. Yes, this goes on nationwide. And the American Medical Association orders their doctors to do this. I guess they might start ordering the doctors to mow their lawns or maybe give them massages or, you know, this is indentured servitude. Now I want to explain just how bad this is, how widespread. I've had three children. And a year ago, we're there at the North Austin Women's Medical Center because I like the doctor that's there. She's a good doctor. She's a fan of the show. She's not bad. I'm not saying she's bad. It's the bureaucracy. And I figured this out by the second child. They have health department computers. I really already knew about it, but then you're there and it's happening to you and you don't really pay attention. And uh, the second child, they said, hey, will you take this file downstairs for me? And then the control freak nurse, they're on a power trip. They think they're like James Bond. You know, they've got all this power and they've got all this authority and they decide what to do and so you go downstairs, and you deliver the file, and you come back, and then the nurse leaves. And my wife said, that lady, she was just asking me if we get along, and am I rude to her, and, you know, like, oh, girls talking, we're friends, and, hey, do you have enough money, and, you know, you know, does he abuse you? And then she was typing in the computer. Yeah, it's looked into the health department. And so by the third go-around, I knew about this, and the lady said, will you take this file down here for me? And I said, oh, sure, and winked at my wife as I walked out. Same deal. And all over the country, it's in the news, these nurses are such wicked control freaks that when you refuse the vaccine, a lot of times they'll secretly inject your children. That's been in the news. That's how evil government and now the nurses and the doctors and everybody else are, the school teachers. They're all a bunch of dirtbag spies. And so everywhere you go, um, you know, in the case with a lady who works in my office, at the end of the year, they have it three times a year, they call the children into the lab, computer lab, and then one by one, the counselor takes the eight-year-olds, I don't know, what grade is that, third grade, fourth grade? They take them into a room, and they ask, how are you doing? And then they said, is your mommy rude to you? Do your parents argue? Tell me about it, real friendly and fake. And then, oh, does mommy spank you? By the way, spanking's not illegal. Hurting them is. And then the little girl says, no, and don't lie to me. Tell me, do they ever... Well, there's a little bruise on her leg. little bruise. I'm walking into a just tiny little bruise on the side of the thigh from walking into a table. We've all had them. And uh, the next day, yesterday, there are police there, and they pull her, make her pull her pants off and take photographs. We'll tell you the rest of the story coming up in an hour. The issue here is, ladies and gentlemen, that when you put your children in a public school, they have quotas to inoculate them. They get federal money for that. So they lie to you and tell you it's the law when it's not because if they get 99% inoculated, they get big bonuses. That's on record. They get bonuses for seizing your kids, but they want most of them in school until the end of the year. Then they gr try to grab them. And I talked to the CPS lady today, and I said, I bet the end of the year is busy time for you. She said, yeah, it is. And I said, yeah, got to get your quota. So we're going to break all this down and explain what the master plan is here overall. And then we'll open the phones up for your horror stories. By the way, they reinstated our YouTube channel thanks to the tens of thousands of phone calls. Thank you for what you've done out there, folks. I want to commend you for that. We'll be right back. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. 
Many human illnesses can be attributed to the fact that soil in the United States no longer provides plants with the mineral elements which are essential to human nourishment. Many studies have shown that the majority of Americans are deficient in minerals. Deficiency in any one of the more important minerals actually results in disease.